Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday evening, the 10th of January. I'm James Spann. Warm, wet, I guess those two words best describe things around here in the short term. Let's talk about it. Let's get in there and take a look at some of the sky cam shots. And it's been kind of a gray, dingy, damp day across the state. That's the Birmingham sky cam. Really nothing heavy, just light rain or drizzle. We did have a heavier batch coming through Tuscaloosa for about an hour this morning. That's the uh, Chiha sky cam, Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. In the boot heel of Cleburne County, where they've got uh, some light rain and drizzle, and very similar uh, conditions up at Cullman in North Alabama. Our upper low is around Lake Texoma today. That is on the Texas Oklahoma border, and you can see that big batch of convective weather to the southeast of the upper low. Uh, we'll check the radar. This is out of Jackson. It was captured at 247 this afternoon. You can see a batch of heavier showers over eastern Mississippi from near Ackerman and Philadelphia, uh, down into Newton County, and then down toward uh, Laurel and Hattiesburg. Uh, there are severe thunderstorm warnings as I do this for areas south of Interstate 20, but up this way, we don't expect any severe weather problems uh, really for the next seven days, but a whole lot of rain. Yeah, look at those numbers. Hey, Montgomery's hit 75. And by golly, we might see numbers like that uh, by the weekend. Uh, Birmingham at 65. We should be at 52 this time of the year. The coolest spot, the only spot in the 50s is Gadsden. They've got 59. That was a tornado watch that expired at 2 o'clock for parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, that will not be extended. Uh, We did have the first tornado of the new year in Louisiana this morning. I don't believe we had any injuries from that. Uh, For the rest of today and tonight, a couple of slight risk areas northwest and southwest of here. But again, uh, severe weather just not expected. The lapse rates, the uh, instability, the uh, helicity, you know, all the severe weather parameters are just lacking. But man, oh man, is it going to rain a lot? This is the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Thursday morning of next week, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about three inches here. And we could see more. Uh, You know, we're concerned about the possibility of a heavy rain band setting up early next week, almost stationary, somewhere around here. But where that exactly happens, uh, it's a little hard to define at this stage of the game. We'll go through the GFS. This is the global forecast system. This is valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. 588 Ridge over the Gulf and the Florida Peninsula. Big cold trough in the west. Down below that, a lot of snow for Colorado, Wyoming. The skiers will love that. Uh, but around here, uh, just a, a batch of clouds and showers, really a lot like today. I don't think it rains heavily, but it certainly could rain at any time during the day tomorrow. We'll just say, you know, periods of rain during the day. And uh, temperatures will be, needless to say, a bit out of whack for this time of the year. Temperatures will likely exceed 70. Now, the GFS goes bonkers with 75. The NAM is at 71, which is probably closer to reality, but whatever. A warm January day. We'll take a look at Saturday, and the ridge is still in place uh, just south of east of here. The big cold trough is out west, and down below that, it's a nation divided. Very cold in the west, very warm in the east. Uh, Take your pick. And in that boundary, we got that uh, front. And again, uh, this showing uh, the better chance of showers on Saturday over the northern half of the state. And even then, I don't think it's going to rain all day. A lot of clouds around, very uh, balmy with potential for low to mid-70s. Sunday, things don't change a whole lot. We've got this wavy front, the the front between that very cold air to the west and the warm air to the east. That is a well-defined boundary, and I mean it's going to be awfully tricky forecasting temperatures for places like Memphis, uh, Tennessee. And you can see waves of low pressure moving along the front, one, two, three of them. And it's kind of narrow, but that's going to be a heavy rain band. And where that thing kind of sets up, we'll have to watch for flooding problems. But around here Sunday, again, we'll be in the warm air, so low to mid-70s, a lot of clouds, a chance of showers, heaviest rain probably north and west of here. Monday, the band of rain just kind of drifts slowly to the south. Now, this run is not as aggressive with the rain as other runs. This is showing just light rain on Monday. And we start to cool down. I I firmly think that we'll be in the colder air. If this is right, uh, this would suggest a high only of about 50. We'll drop 20 degrees here on Monday as the cold air seeps in. It's going to be very shallow. And then Tuesday, by golly, the rain just keeps on a coming. And uh, again, it's basically in the same place uh, with another wave coming on the front. 
high probably will be in the 50s, lows in the 40s. And let me tell you what now, in the northern flank of that, we got to watch for icing problems. Uh, that red line, that's the 32-degree line suggesting maybe some icing for Kentucky. And we have seen other runs that portrayed an icing event for northwest Tennessee and northeast Arkansas. Uh, not here, but just something to watch. But Tuesday looks uh, cool and wet. And there's Wednesday, the colder air digs deeper. I think we won't get out of the 40s. It's a very cold air mass coming in from the north. Uh, and then Thursday, the rain is finally gone. A good chance the sun comes back. That's a week from today uh, with uh, highs maybe around 50. But it will be much colder as we go through next week and the cold air settles in here. And by the way, that's the uh, watch warning map. Uh, didn't get a chance to show you that at the top of this. Uh, look at all the winter weather issues up north and out west. Uh, just a big mess up there with winter storm watches and warnings, some freezing rain problems, uh, running all the way really from the mountains of Southern California, if you will, up into Montana and then back over to uh, Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin. Quickly, we'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 26th of January. Not a really cold look for us, but we've seen looks all over the board out here. The confidence is low. Looking at the thickness values, that would suggest temperatures add or just well, I'd say pretty close to seasonal averages for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we go back to the two-a-day schedule. To, actually, we're on it today since I'm back, but I'll be doing the uh, morning and afternoon videos uh, tomorrow since we're back in town. Uh, don't forget to watch us on television if you can or the live stream, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.